this is Crafty Cat. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. We are going to be looking at some of the diamond paintings that I've done this year. So these are the ones that are just in the house. And, oh, these are flowers from my parents' 60th anniversary. So here's one that I did this year. It's this pretty little wreath. And all of these will have um, videos on the channel. Unboxing and completion videos. And here is a Thomas Kincaid. And I'm going fast because I have to get ready for supper. We're ordering Chinese food. And this is one I believe was from Fan Cells and I really love this one. This is one of my favorite ones. So these were gifts from my parents. And let's just go in here. Here's our tree. So today is December 29th that I'm recording this portion of the video. There will be a second part where I go through my portfolio. And here are some of the things that I did just for Christmas this year. That's the bigger one. You guys have seen that on the channel. And these two. And they don't look as clear as they should because I still have the protective film on them. And these have to go up still. But I just, I wanted to get everything um, shown while I can. Look at, there's me and my mom when I was a young girl in the pink, and that's my mom in the blue. And that hummingbird one is one of the very first ones that I did that was from Amazon. And the butterfly. Uh, this was also, no, I think this was the first one that I did that wasn't dollar store one. My little squirrel and bird. And that's just a photo that I took with my camera. These used to have photos that I took with my camera in them. And, uh, yeah. And then there's this one that I just finished. You're, get, you're seeing my reflection. I'm sorry. I'm just wearing a Camino. I just came out of the shower. My hair is all wet. Sorry about that. But you just saw that one. So there's a video there. So there's that one. And then I just wanted to bring you to the tree. They're not all here. But I just wanted to show you some of the, um, things that I did. Well, this is one that I did in plastic canvas a few years ago. And I did a bunch of crochet uh, wreaths, giant ones. My mom wanted big ones. They need to be all restarched. And I did some diamond painting ones that are double sided. I don't know if my camera's showing them. Here, let me get you in. Sorry. So I did some diamond painting ones that are double sided. The tree is very dry. Here's another one. These are the ones I did last year. I don't think we put any of the this year's ones on there on yet. There's some little crocheted skates that I made. There's a little crocheted bird that I made. A little wreath. There's a reindeer. I'm just looking where are the diamond painted ones. Here's a little Santa. And let's go around to this side of the tree because I made a whole bunch of ornaments, but they're not all up yet. There's a little snowman, but they're still put away because we were afraid to touch the tree more than we have to because it's it's a real tree, so the needles are falling. And here's another one I did last year. But all the ones that I did this year will be on the tree next year. That's from last year as well. And this one, the boot, and oh, here's one from this year that my dad put up. He really liked this. He put it up as soon as he unboxed, he opened it. The little snowman on a plane. And I did a bunch of these crocheted ornaments last year, just really simple ones. Oh wait, here's, I did the Star Trek Enterprise for my dad several years ago in, in crochet. Here's another bird that I did. There's a Christmas box, and I think, oh here, here's one of the painted ones that I did this year. I think there's only one on the tree right now. So over the years, I've made so many ornaments, you guys. Um, and plus, these, these are my parents' ornaments. I have a tree, my own stuff, my own decorations that are all locked away in the basement. So there's a... Abominable Snowman and the Golden Bird, the Goldfinch. Yeah, so there's a whole bunch of stuff here. 
Here's a robin. I didn't have a pattern for the robin. I just made this one without the pattern. So let's, oh, and there's a cardinal. There's a cardinal. So yeah, it's really hard to find on, in the tree because this is this is a huge tree. Oh, there's a, my dog in a doghouse. I miss him so much. His name was Mac. He's hard to see because his hair was really long. He was a poodle, a standard poodle. And uh, I let his hair grow really long in the winter because we have really cold winters with lots of snow. So let me back up. I'll turn you around. Oh, the tree is still too close. I gotta go into the other room so you can get the whole tree in the camera. There. It's a huge tree. It goes all the way up to the ceiling. My dad had to cut the top off to make it fit. It's a blue spruce and I'm really allergic to it. All right, now we're gonna go down the basement. All right, so now that we are down the basement, this is like the wrapping center and my dad sits in his chair here. We've got the fireplace all done up. These are um, little gingerbread men I made when I was 18 years old. That's a painting my little niece made for my mom and dad. My little niece, Clary, she's a sweetheart. And here are my dad's diamond paintings. He put them up in his rec room. So I gave him the fish for fishing and the moose and the chair over the uh, water. So he has these sitting right across from the chair where he sits all the time and he's usually watching TV. <laughs> but I think they look really nice. But anyway, I'm gonna have to do part two in a, a second uh, uh, on another day and then just edit them all together into one cohesive cool video because we're... Hi guys, so I am back. I am up in my room with my art presentation book to show you the rest of the diamond paintings that I did this year. Now there are a lot missing because I gifted an awful lot of diamond paintings, especially the little off canvas ones, but also I gifted a lot of canvas diamond paintings. I think I gave four to my Auntie Judy. I gave one to my best friend. I, I gave one to my Uncle Buck. Um, I don't even remember. I gave, I gifted a lot of them. So there, there's at least six canvases missing that you aren't going to see here. And lots of off canvas, um, ornaments and decorations and keychains that you won't get to see here. But this is the stuff that I still have. So let's go through it. So this is my 11 by 17 art presentation book. It's got 24 uh, pages, um, with 48 views. It's 100% acid free and I really like it. So now these are the ones going back from last year when I first started. I did a set of Christmas cards, and you want to know what's funny. I did Christmas cards this year, and I really like them. But I looked all over for these because I knew I had some leftover cards from last year, and I wanted to use them, and I couldn't find them. And now Christmas is over, and I found them. They were put away on the first page of my portfolio book, and I didn't think to look at it. <laughs> Isn't that funny? So I did a set of cards, and... um. This is a feather diamond painting that I did, and I was originally going to put it in my parrot's room, but there's no frame over it, and she is a dusty bird, and it would just get really messy. But I did this uh, plastic canvas frame around it, and there are videos for all of these that will give you information about... Um, there are unboxing videos telling you where I bought them, and there are completion and review videos. So if you look back in my channel, you'll find all of this, okay? So, and then we have the peacocks that I did. Oh, let me just move this book so it's more centered or let's move the camera a little bit. Is that better? So we've got the pretty peacocks and we've got the snowman at night. And this is one of the very first ones that I really loved that I did. I just really loved this one. And I, I think these might either from fan cells or sheen. I can't remember. But like I said, there are videos on my channel all about these. And then these ones, this was one of my very favorite ones, and I still love it a lot. Um, I'll probably put this back up in a frame again because on my wall because I love it. I just, this is one of my favorite ones. It's just so, it makes me happy. I love chipmunks and deer and birds and animals, and I just really like the way it came out. And then we have an Easter one with the bunny and the chick and the cup and the eggs and the tulips. And it's also very, very cute. Isn't that nice? And these are, these are 30 by 40. Um, this is a little bit bigger. 
than this one. So it depends on what company you buy for the size, right? So yeah, but I really love this one and I like that size and it's it's bigger than this. You could see like it's just a little bit bigger, like three diamond painting rows taller and that's it. And then I did the sunflowers. This was my very first square. I did not enjoy doing the square. Um, I hated it for part of it. And then toward the middle and the end, I grew to be okay with it, but it never gave me that nice, relaxed feeling that I get from the rounds. So I will try squares again. I do have more squares, but I'm definitely a round girl. I prefer the rounds. I like them a lot better. So here's my little budgies, and I used to have budgies. And again, I was going to put these in Smokey's room, and I have not found frames yet for that are 30 by 30. So I have to go find 30 by 30 frames. And then there is this little um, squirrel and chickadee. I love squirrels, and I love birds. So I was really happy with this one. And there's an empty spot on this page because the uh, painting that was here is up on my wall right now in my room and I'll show you that in a bit and then we have the owl kind of reminds me of the Hogwarts owl flying over it's not but it just reminds me of that and I really enjoyed doing this one a lot and this one also we've got the um, the elephant on the, the bridge looking down at the moon and that's like more of a fantasy painting and I really really like that one a lot too let me just tilt the book so you can see it a little bit better. So yeah, I really did enjoy doing these. And then we have the sea turtles. So, oops. This is quite heavy, so let me just tilt this back so you can see it. The colors on this one are beautiful. This again is one of my favorite ones. The rendering on this is really nice. And I love the bright colors. Just so, so pretty. I really do like this one a lot. Oh, I should have left it sideways. So, we have two Christmas ones. They're both partials. And I did these for Christmas in July with Diamond Grandma. So, I think this is my first partial that I did. So, we've got Santa and the deer. And it came out really nice. I like it. And then we have Santa in his village. Well, not Santa, but like a Christmas village. And this, this is a bigger one. I, I don't, can't remember. I think this was like a, this is a 30 by 40. And I think this was a 40 by 50, but not a real 40 by 50. Like the fake 40 by 50, where when they say 40 by 50, they mean the whole thing, including the border and not just the design area. And then these two are up on my wall right now. I'll show you in a bit. And then we have two more snowmen that I did for uh, Christmas in July. I really like these guys. This was a set of four from Amazon. And I just think they're adorable. And I really did enjoy them. I love snowmen. And look how cute these guys are. I, I call this Mr. and Mrs. Snowman. Mr. Snowman and Mrs. Snowman. And then we have this rose with the lake and the uh, seagull. So I originally bought this for my cousin Mary Lynn when she was retiring, but I didn't like how it came out, so I did a different one for her instead. So that's one that you guys, um, it won't be in this video, but it is up on the channel. I think it was one of those lakeside chairs overlooking the, the water kind of thing with a dock. But this is really pretty. And then we have this house, this tropical beach house. And I really like the way that looks. These are so pretty. I do love the way this one came out. And it gives me a really nice feeling. This, this book is so heavy, you guys. And I think that might be it for the book. Yeah, that is definitely it. So I, I still have several pages left. I didn't fill the book. Let me just quickly tell... Uh, and these are the ones I have on my wall right now. They're not in frames. I just use that putty stuff to stick them to the wall. Uh, the blue butterfly with the with the yellow um, flower, the sunflower, that's all full rhinestone and it's so pretty. I didn't want to take it down and it's so funny you guys in the summer. I have a little hole in my screen in my window 
And this summer, a wasp kept flying in and going to that. So then I'd have to go and open my window because he couldn't find the hole to go back out for the screen. So, like, every day I'm, like, opening the window. Okay, wasp, you gotta leave now. And he, it was like he could hear me leave right away. It was so funny. And then I've got my birds and my squirrel and my little hippy-dippy girl with the bird on her head. And then if I flip you around here, I have a photo of my dog, Mac. I miss him so much. And then I have my happy, funny, silly dogs. Take my Advil. <laughs> and I hurt my back, and Alexa's reminding me to take my Advil. Take my Advil. <laughs> That's funny. Hi, guys. I'm back. I thought I was all done showing you all the diamond paintings I did in 2022, and I thought, no, I'm not done. There's some I didn't put into my portfolio yet. I had them in the uh, art dot box. I, this box is so perfect from Art Dot to store paintings in, and I forgot that I was storing diamond paintings in there. And then I had another box that I was storing diamond paintings in. So we aren't done. So let's keep going. So we have this one that I really love. It's my special drill um, owl. Isn't it beautiful? And I absolutely love how sparkly this one is. And I, even though it's a partial drill, I love it because the background that's not diamond painted is still really beautiful and shiny and sparkly. And I love that this has the combination of the bigger drills and the smaller drills. And they're all the big special drills and the rhinestone drills. This is just really beautiful. I love this one. So let's put this here. And let's just move the camera so I'm not getting stuck in it. And then we have this Halloween one that I did, the black cat with the pumpkin. So, yeah, so this is so pretty. And this one is super, super sparkly. And I really absolutely love the way this one came out. Don't you like that? And... Then we have one of these ones that I did at camp. This I did when I, I went to camp for a month this summer, for most of the month of August. I think it was the last three weeks of August and the first week of September that I was out there. So, yeah. And uh, I remember doing this, and I remember being out there and how hot it was. It was super hot. And I had a beautiful lake view and, and just me and the bird out there. It was so nice and peaceful. So every time I look at this, it will remind me. And I did a lot of paintings out there. And now it's winter and it's New Year's Eve while I'm recording. Here is another one I did at camp. And this is one of the ones that came in the box. This is one of those art dot, but not art dots. Not with the Z, but without the Z painting. And then they have super sparkly drills. If you can see how very sparkly they are. And they're the ones that came in the box that I just showed you. And I love that because when you buy them, they're all flat. There's no wrinkles, which is really awesome. So this is really beautiful and super, super sparkly. And again, it's another one that will remind me of being at my camp in the summer. And... And then I had this one that I also did at camp. It's part of the set of four. I did three out of the set of four. I have one more that I need to do. And again, you can see how super, super sparkly that is. It's just gorgeous. And I love boats and lakes. It's just, it makes me happy. And this was the third one of the set that I did from the Art Dot store. Really pretty colors. And also very shiny and sparkly. Oops. I had to pause my video for a little bit because people were, uh, it's New Year's Eve and people were doing fireworks. And now this is not from Art Dot without the Z. This is with Art Dot with the Z. This is uh, Art Dot's. And this was a little bit more expensive. This I think I paid $25. Like, well, it was regular $25, but I got it on sale. And it also has really super sparkly ones, and it's got the softer canvas. 
and now the canvas that it has is almost the same as the canvas from the uh, the Michaels brand design that you can get that I just did for Christmas. So it's um a little bit heavier, but very similar. So I really enjoyed doing this one, and the colors were just brilliant. I do love this one. I, I want to frame this one. It's a little bit bigger than your standard uh, 30 by 40, but just like a little bit wider. And still not done because I forgot I put some in these little frames that I ordered. So we have the Christmas mouse that I did. I'm just going to open the frame so you can see it better because I didn't take the protective covering off the frame. These frames come with a, like a plastic covering so that they don't scratch and I'm not going to take that off till they're on the wall. And I lost the little things for putting them up on the wall and you could just take the sticky thing off and the whole thing will be sticky and stick to the wall but I'm worried it will wreck the paint so I'm not going to do that so we have Christmas mouse super cute and this one's definitely going on my wall in this frame this is my crafty cat so yeah so let's take a look without the frame hang on a second I can't get a good grip here so that's definitely going on the wall because like this is I'm crafty cat and this is a, an arty crafty cat. This is more of an arty cat, but I'm doing art now too. So it's perfect. And you can see it still has that. It's got this thing on it like this. So there we have it, you guys. So let's move my kitty into the frame. Um, yeah. So we have all of these in the portfolio that we saw. We have all the ones on the wall that we saw throughout the whole house. And um, so this is everything I did, except for the stuff that I gave away. And unfortunately, I can't show you that, but they're all on the channel. So now for sure I'm done. I don't think I have any more diamond paintings hiding around in the house. So I hope you liked that. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button. Um, Hit that notification bell if you want to know when I'm going to have new videos put out on the channel. And um, leave your comments and let me know what you think. Which one was your favorite one? Do you have a favorite one? I'd have a hard time picking, honestly. They're all so pretty. I've really enjoyed my year of diamond painting, you guys. And I want to thank you all so much for your support. Um, this channel's a year old now. I've been doing it since just before last Christmas, and I've been having a blast, and I've been really loving getting to know all of you and watching your videos, too. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy this. Um, take care, stay safe, happy crafting, and guess what? Happy New Year! It's almost 2023, and it might actually be 2023 by the time I edit this and put it on my channel. But it's New Year's Eve, and I'm going to try to get this out in time for midnight. All right, guys. Take care and stay safe. Bye for now.